Hi everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we are going to cover a question that came in. Can you tile a texture or an alpha with a spotlight tool in ZBrush? So in today's episode, let's cover how we could quickly repeat a texture and alpha to detail some of our model using the spotlight tool. As you can see here, I'm actually building a scene that has a brick wall with a lot of piping. And what I would like to do is actually create a brick that has a kind of steel texture on it. So the first thing we want to do is come on up to texture and import our texture using the import feature. And once our texture is imported, come on down, select our texture and say, add the spotlight. From here, we're gonna go ahead and size up the size of our texture and make it so that we cover the entire model. What we need to do next is hover over our tile V or our tile H, which is these three green bars or these three red bars and left click and drag to repeat our pattern. If we move it two clicks, we actually repeat our pattern two more times, giving us a total of three on the V coordinate. And we're going to do the same thing on the H coordinate. Clicking twice gives us a total of a three by three repeated pattern. Now from here, we can use our texture to sculpt on our model. So go ahead and hit Z on the keyboard. And I'm going to grab the standard brush with a drag rec. And I'm going to click and drag out on the model to sculpt this texture onto my model. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift Z. And as you can see here, we went ahead and applied our texture to our model. On a quick side note, if you press and hold shift and tile either with tile V or tile H, it will actually tile both of those at the exact same time instead of actually having to click tile V and then tile H. And the same thing will work if we load in an alpha. I went ahead and opened up our light box, spotlight, and brought in our AK hard surface alphas that ship a ZBrush. Go ahead and hit the comic key to close that down. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these alphas. I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. And now with the tile V, I'm going to go ahead and left click and drag a couple times. And same thing with the tile H, left click and drag a few times and then drag this back out. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit the snapshot 3D to create some interesting shapes using the alpha that we have tiled. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified each time we upload a video. And please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!